My name is Adam Beershank. I work for Swell Watercraft. I did the So do you want me to say I'm the owner? No, I don't want to say. I just want to say I'm Jim from Swell Watercraft. I have to figure out exactly how to describe myself into the uh, Swell Watercraft, but yeah. Just, I'm just Jim from Swell Watercraft. There's a whole bunch of us. There's like 12 people. Probably should start with some kind of beginning. The beginning of Swell Watercraft is a meeting between me, Tim, and Jim Marsh. And uh, we came up with this idea to redo the Scupper Pro, kind of like the original Scuppers down in Malibu that Tim did in the 70s. We started with Tim Nehemiah's Scupper Pro, and then we dropped the paddler in and lowered the footwells, which allowed us to make it more thin and more stable, and actually a lot more comfortable as well. It has a fine full Swede form entry. Uh, it's narrow, but we spent lots of time focusing on the logic behind the boat, which is one of the reasons it's so comfortable to paddle and the ergonomics are dialed. I actually designed the seat. It's like a full six inches wider than the Scupper Pro seat. It just helps lock your body in that boat a little bit better, and it relieves any pressure that could be on your spine, which is quite nice when you're paddling. Instead of having scuppers under the seat, we have drainage channels that uh, flow forward into the cockpit footwell. Foot brace are mounted on the inside. It actually does fit the inside of your foot better. We scalloped the gunnels for improved paddle efficiency. You get a tighter, firmer bite on the water. The raised forward scupper drain the cockpit up to the pillar and everything below that is drained from the scupper valve. So you pull it up and it's a scupper plug and you push it down and it's a Venturi scupper with a check valve. There's a synergy there, you know what I mean? You start getting that low center of gravity, then you can have this boat be a little narrower. Having that center of gravity drop two, three inches is huge as far as the stability goes. Stability is speed. If you're stable, you can paddle faster without uh, making corrections. There's a lot of refinement that's gone into the CAD work. Uh, and there's a lot of details that have been brought in and taken, it just takes a lot of time. Tim Meyer shaped two scale models, and we went from there, and we started designing in CAD, and did about five more scale models. Built uh, two foam core prototypes, tested those. It's been a lot of testing, a lot of work. With the lowered cockpit, what you get is a better center of gravity. So this boat, even though it's not that wide, can carry the same loads as much larger boats. We wanted to make a boat that customizes to your adventure. So whether you're touring, whether you're fishing, a diver, whatever you're doing out there, this boat can handle it. So we got a lot of info about what the people wanted to be able to take, and we tried to incorporate as much stuff as we could on that. We have a forward six inch hatch in the cockpit. It enables you to unscrew that and put your fishing rods through there or get something out of the forward hatch. The tank wall is designed to carry just your regular old milk crate, uh, a five gallon bucket, and Yak Attack's black box. Also obviously it fits up to an 80 liter scuba tank. Well we spent two years developing this kayak and it's become my life. This is the model that we're set on and you're gonna love. It's stability, it's comfort, the ability to edge the boat and make it turn. Makes you feel part of the water, one with the wave. And uh, that's an important part of it.